Hello Sagittarius, Spiritual Barbie here. So you guys, if the camera cuts off, you know, don't be mad. The, um, it might not be the full 30 minutes, okay? So it might shut off, it might not. All right, so Sagittarius, welcome to everybody here. I'm here today to do your bi-weekly um, uh, current status of your life reading, um, as well as spirit guide angel and um, ancestor messages so you guys let me know what you think of these these readings are a little bit upgraded and changed so let me know what you think and you know if you like these by thumbsing up the video commenting down below about whether you like it or not so I will know where you guys stand with these readings and if I should keep doing them this way okay so let's now get started I want to start off at looking at your, the current status of your life. Okay. Wow. So, so far so good. You know, 1st to the 15th of May is amazingly sweet, but let's forget the dates, you know? I'm not saying, the dates matter, but I just don't wanna, you know, be too calculated about talking about your, your time. Okay, because the way your time is going to flow, it's not going to feel very concrete and rigid. Okay? So, you severed ties with someone who was cutting you out from accepting that your own perception mattered because you were connected to divinity. You cut ties with somebody who, you know, was trying to control you and then you reconnected with yourself and you reconnected with those who were connected to themselves and those who were soul family people who made you feel good people who made you feel the way you wanted to feel and people who you know treat you the way that you want to be treated and you also reconnected with the soulmate as well and now your emotions are just flowing you've just got all these deep profound feelings and you're just going to be feeling your feelings and super emotional and compassionate and there for everybody and also there for yourself but you're going to feel amazing and totally at bliss and at peace and it's because you're getting a commitment God is showing you that you know your commitment can never be tested or shaken by anybody or anything no man can do that and you're also getting a commitment from someone wow and you, you're getting a commitment from someone and you're getting your trust and faith in life is being restored because you're getting a new beginning and a fresh start. You're getting a fresh start and that's giving you back your trust and faith in life. That is giving you trust and faith. So you guys are feeling amazing something amazing is coming in for you that's a, just a gift from god it's just god showing you that you have a commitment and that um that god loves you and that this is how god sees you beautiful so you know you're struggling with letting go of someone but you're also you're struggling with letting go of someone who you know warped your perception but more than you're struggling about letting go of this person you're mainly just gathering your perception of yourself back to yourself. So you're no longer um, doubting your perception of the world and of others and of this particular person. You know, so it's kind of hard for, for you. The truths that you're getting about certain people from your mind's eye, from others, from what they're telling you and also how it aligns with what you were feeling about the world and about them and about those situations. It's kind of hard for you, but it's also beautiful for you because it's expanding your world. It's making it so your vision is aligning with abundance and it's aligning your vision, your perspective, your foresight, your thoughts, your even your conversations. Did I say your visions? With abundance. So on your mind over these next two weeks, you're going to be thinking about somebody who is dying, who is dead. 
okay wow this person is dying they're dead I feel like this was magical you know this might have been all of a sudden that this person died you know this person passing on as well is bringing you a new beginning Sagittarius and it's also it's also brought forth a message of passion from someone from some group but it feels like from someone someone sent you a message of passion wanting to have a new beginning you know they feel passion for you they want a creative spark they want to work together with you you know they want to get to know you they want to spend time with you <laughs> oh my gosh yes someone's gonna send you this as a result of this ending there's something that has ended so that you could have a new beginning in life so that you could get a message an amazingly positive message so that you could get you know lots of positive messages if that's a positive message so in the near future you guys are gonna you know get a broadened perspective as to why something has happened is happening is going to happen your perspective and your perception of the world is expanding and you guys are accepting that your perception matters and you're freeing yourself from being you're going to free yourself from being trapped from someone else's perspective trapped in someone else's world living in a world that didn't really serve you or that encroached upon you you know you guys are also evading issues problems ahead of time because you guys are surrendering I feel like you guys, what somebody is showing you, how the world is looking, you kind of need to look at it in a different way. And you're going to get this enhanced perspective shift. And this is about a legal situation, a situation where somebody felt like they were wronged or somebody got what they deserved. Wow, this is a big next two weeks. And it's because there's a legal case going on. There's something, there's a legal case going on that's big. Mm, you're going to understand where it fits into your reality and what it shifted in your mind that is ultimately going to cause for you to enter into a new karmic phase where you're starting to get what you deserve. This is so multifaceted. So, feeling your feelings and then here comes this experience that just shifts your perspective and you know it's it's tied to this ending so you guys now I'm going to look into your spirit guide and ancestor messages angel messages what messages do they have for you about your love life you know over these next two weeks, 1st to the 15th of May. Ooh. You guys can say, be, do whatever you want. You can be whoever you are. Okay? You don't never need to hold back. And you can um, just know that. You don't even need to take action on it. Just know that. There's no need to take action. Somebody's coming in. And they're going to bring you... Um, truth but they're going to bring you um sustainability they're going to bring you consistency money passion sultriness sensuality someone is so into you they're going to bring you so much and they're also going to bring you change in your finances and in your career improvements this person is taking their time before they come towards you but they know they absolutely know that you are the one for them and that you are the one period your ancestors and spirit guides, you know, are saying that you just need to be more confident in yourself. You're going to get a victory in your love life. And this victory is going to show you someone hidden in your life that was causing you a lack of peace of mind. That, you know, they might be going through something that is unrest, causing them unrest. Or just causing you a lack of peace of mind. Now, let's see how they're doing this. They're doing this through concluding a, a difficult cycle. And they're doing this through um, embracing who they are fully, accepting their perspective fully. And this is unsettling you and making you feel, um, you know, weird, like uncertain. 
because you guys have also concluded a cycle in your life and you guys want to go in a different direction from this person you have a different perspective from this person you're gonna get a victory you're gonna get your confidence back you're going to find that it all works out perfectly so in your love life you're gonna have a new beginning come in somebody honest is gonna come into your life and they're gonna bring you a whole new phase of truthfulness and honesty So now on to your finances and your career. I'm going to start off with your career first. What messages do your spirit guides and ancestors have for you about your career over these next two weeks? You're going to get, so you're going to have something amazing. You're going to get an amazing success. Everything is going to work out so perfect. Everything you want will come to you over these next two weeks in your career. Holy cow. You know, someone who was telling you that you couldn't have it, you're going to stop dealing with them. You're going to, this person is going out of your life. You're going to fall in love with your career over these next two weeks. You're going to have a new beginning in loving your career. Because somebody's going out of your life, because somebody is, you know, ending a time in their career, it almost, feel, it almost feels like somebody's getting backstabbed. Perhaps somebody who backstabbed you is getting backstabbed. <laughs> Somebody who backstabbed you, Sagittarius, you know, they worked in a group to try to annihilate and destroy your career and it backfired, you know, their career is ending and you're learning a difficult cycle around feeling like people could devastate you. You guys are just going to keep on working and protecting your emotions from narcissists, people who dump all over your emotions and know that you just have a solid foundation and whenever that's happening, it just means that you have a solid foundation in love with whoever that you are with or you have a solid foundation in love with whatever you're working on like that is that is that situation is meant for you you truly love this situation and that's why you're going through being dumped on like this okay and you guys are are going to conclude a cycle around this and see how spirit is making you an offer through this through these experiences Your ancestors and spirit guides are always trying to protect you from narcissists and from polluters. And so whatever this ending was in your career, this difficult time even, but it feels like it was an ending that you learned a lot of harsh lessons in. It protected you from, um, you know, people dumping all over your emotions, trying to steal your love away that didn't deserve your love. Okay. Trying to um, just be near you. Trying, you know, trying to act like they had love for what you even loved, even, or like that you shouldn't love what you love. So onto your finances now. You and you're also seeing what happens when people do that to you through your career. Somebody in your fine in your career, somebody at your job that you even know is going through something crazy because they they're polluter. They they dumped all over your world. So that's why they're going through that. And then you're gonna understand that that's what happens. You just might not realize it or look at it like polluting all over your world until you see what your beautiful world has inside of it. And then you realize what that type of person steals from you when they're just dumping all over you or they're just doing it to be jealous, especially when they're just jealous of you. That's when this this sort of devastation will take place. This person is going out of your life. Now onto your finances now. You're going to have a new beginning in the way that you handle your finances in the sense that you're going to fall in love with money. Okay? You weren't in love with it before, okay? The way that you look at money and your finances and your deserving, your worthiness, your ability to hold on to it is ascending, changing. You're going to embrace how you truly feel about your finances because if you don't, and what you truly think about it, because if you don't, you're going to have a harsh experience that's going to force you to do it, okay? So you just need to accept that you, your vision is beautiful and it's coming to fruition. Your vision for your finances is coming in, okay? It's coming in. Your vision for your finances is coming in. Now, you guys are breaking out of a bad habit, a long standing. You were trapped. Ooh, you were so trapped. And this is freeing your finances. This is freeing your money. 
making your money grow and all that stuff ooh, you're gonna have a lot of success you're gonna be so enjoying and at bliss with your finances your money i don't care what you do sagittarius you're gonna be so happy about your money the thought of money is gonna make you so happy and the thought of making money you know because your career is aligning you know with this positive energy as well but the thought of making money is going up there as well above all else you know your goals the goals the things that you want to make happen in your finances your financial goals are coming to pass this week i'm hearing over these next two weeks this week oh sag Woo. and you're going to like sever ties with somebody who is bombastic and competitive okay and who keeps you trapped in embracing not embracing passion Okay, you're going to heal from the wounds of experiencing dealing with this person because that type of person is going out of your life. Okay, over this week, oh, this week, this, that type of person is going out of your life. This is a good old fashioned week for Sagittarius's. I'm going to get started on your love life. Okay, so on to your love life with the romance angels. What they have to tell you is that keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. How you perceive your soulmate to be is different from who this person truly is, okay? Shocker. So keep an open mind about this person. It's all about how you feel, okay? It's your soulmate, it's your soul. It's all about how you feel. Now, you guys, you guys are gonna retreat from the world. You're gonna get back at having an open mind about this person, by the way, Sagittarius. You guys are gonna retreat from the world, take your connection away from society and the perceptions of society. You guys are also spending time in sol solitude, hermitude, thinking about each other and thinking about this connection. This is your soulmate. You guys are dealing with your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We don't have the twin flame card in this deck, but I am feeling that this person is also your twin flame. So here we go with the energy oracle. What does the energy oracle message want to put forth, you know, through your ancestors and spirit guides? And your ancestors and spirit guides are speaking through this deck. The romance angels. That was, you know, who was with you. You're coming out of a faulty contract. You're getting divorced. Okay? It didn't work. You're just dealing with some difficulties in agreements. You know, it's not fair to you. It will all be worked out. Okay? That's it. That's all you need to know. It'll be worked out. So what messages does Spirit have for you? Spirit is ready to offer you guidance. All it requires is an open mind and a request for assistance. Spirit is always ready to offer you guidance about your love life. Just have an open mind and Make a request for assistance. Wow, Sag. All right. So I definitely feel like somebody, you know, doesn't feel like, isn't sure what they're doing. You know, and, you know, needs help. Is also like being told to do things another way. You know, someone, you or this person is going through this. So spirit is ready to offer you guidance. Feel free to ask spirit. So, you know, now on to your career now, which is so intriguing, because you're going to be so happy over these next two weeks. Oh, my gosh. Something amazing. Plus your energy. Plus this amazing thing that's happening. You're going to be on the sun. You can never touch the sun. Oh, my God. You're going to be so appreciative. Just appreciate the gifts that you're getting in your career, Sag. Just say thank you. That's all. Just appreciate it. Now, with your finances, trust in the unknown. Trust that the unknown is always looking out for you. And that that is the way that everybody deserves it. There's not one haver and one have not. And that's why this type of person is going out of your life. Or this person is going out of your life this week. You know, financially. But just in general, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person is going out of your life. And this could even be a friend. And you're like, why? And it's because of how they thwart down your finances. <laughs> They're so competitive and lack-minded. And bombastic and... And then they try to knock you down so that you make a commitment with them. So through the help of the unknown, through the winds of the unknown, this person is being removed from your life so that you can trust in the unknown. 
know how this person is kind of deceptive if whether they're too deceptive or just a little bit deceptive with you but for a lot of you guys this person is just extremely but there's just not much that they can get from you so they don't they're not that deceptive with you but this person is deceptive so trust in the unknown and know that you're going to cut ties with connecting with somebody through that way over the course of these next two weeks wow so sag your messages from spirit about your career and the next one will be for your finances your spiritual path is being illuminated subtle cues may tell you what someone's words are not that I don't I don't feel like I need to explain that any further I feel like you know what that means now with your finances, your messages from spirit is that you are being protected by your angels. Do not worry. You do not ever need to worry. You could just stay in your cottage as the snow pours, you know, and then go out foraging for things that, you know, you really want to forage for or whatever sort of reality you envision for yourself. You can just do that. You don't need to worry. You're being protected by angels. You don't need to come out of how you already are and you know you could trust that spirit is guiding you to where you want to be financially you just need to trust that the circumstance you find yourself in is not worthy of the time spent worrying about it release it so you guys before I go I did this for every sign I'm going to draw an angel ancestor spirit guide message on a situation that you're wondering about and what your ancestors and spirit guides what message they have for you about the situation and what they want to tell you is coming or whatever they want to tell you just stand your ground stand up for yourself and be secure in yourself know that you have a very firm foundation in yourself you you are not you are not going to be rooted easy okay and you know when you understand this you're going to see that good fortune is coming in for you. You are blessed beyond compare in ways that you don't even realize. And that's probably why you had trouble standing up for yourself. But you can just stand tall for yourself. Stand your ground. Keep on being who you are because, you know, this is your destiny, whatever this is. And you're going to receive so much abundance very soon. So trust your intuition in this situation, what you were sensing is spot on. There's just so many jealous people because you have so many gifts. You are so abundant in whatever this is. This is such good fortune for you. But this is your gift from God. This is your destiny. You were destined to have this. Okay? You might not be able to see this very well. But, you know, you can stand your ground, everybody. Just keep on being who you are. You're going to get back the upper ground. There's just some jealous people around you. But they can't match your energy. So I will talk to you guys all again in the next two weeks. Feel free to check out everything else we have, we have here on the channel, you guys. I have to go. But um, thank you for all your support here on the channel. I'll talk to you guys all super soon. Check out your messages from your person readings. Those are coming out very soon as well.